Baby Doll. Mm -hmm. Now, this is adventurous. Mm -hmm. I wrote that with Missy Elliott. Yes. And do you guys, is Missy big down there? Yeah, uh, well, she, no, she's breaking down there. Okay, so they have I Can't Stand the Rain, so they're yeah, really, yeah, yeah. So I, I really wanted to work with her because I think she's a great writer, um, and she's on the, really on the cutting edge of R&B, where R&B's going. Mm. And right voice, too. Yeah, she's got a great voice, and that's, when I first heard her, it was on an MC Light record, um, I think that Puffy had done, yeah. and she was rapping, and the first time I heard her do that he 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 how thing, and then she was singing, and I'm like, the same girl that's singing is the one that's rapping right there? And then I started hearing more of her music, and, I, and the songs she wrote for other people, mm -hmm. like Aaliyah and stuff, so I, we got together, and, um, and I had already written the hook, I Wanna Be Your Baby Doll, that whole mm -hmm. part. And, but what was different about that, I went to Virginia, I met her, I met Timberland, we did the whole thing, and she's just really cool. And, um, you know, I said, how would you approach this melody in the verses? Because I already had an idea for what I would have done, but it was much more of my, my style, like more free, kind of flowing mm -hmm. over the music. And she approaches things from like more of the repetition, like a rhythmic thing. So she started with the da -da -da -da, that little thing that we did with 211, that little part. Can't sing today, didn't get enough sleep, we won't go into that. But <laughs> so she, um, she and I collaborated on the lyrics and we wrote it in the hotel room. We were drinking champagne, she was already hung over from the night before, she fell asleep halfway through the writing session so I had to finish it alone. And she knows I'm gonna tell people that so she doesn't care. Cause she had been to Timberland's party the night before so yeah. she was tired. So on the back of, on the album credits, that's why I said no more Cristal for you. <laughs> she couldn't handle it, but it was good. She really added a new dimension to that.